Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the vol age is high with Shono here, but to give you another Surface Pro testing video as we're running off the i7 Surface Pro 7 with 16 gigs of RAM. It's been a while since I've actually played World of Warcraft and we need to get an FPS counter up. Alright, so there we go, we have the FPS counter up and let us do some travel. And let's go head over to Stormwind. So you can see we're actually at about 90 FPS. I'm not sure what resolution that we are at when it comes to World of Warcraft. So we are currently definitely not 3840 by 2160. I'm not sure why it's at that resolution. Oh, render scale 1280 by 720. Okay. And we can render at 100% to 1920 by 1080. Um, if you check the graphics, quality is classic at 3. Let's actually bump it up to 4. Okay. So, let's actually head into town where the graphics are going to take a little bit of a dip. So, so, let's go head over to Orgrimmar. Spring. But you can see, even at graphics settings 4 at 1080p, the... Surface Pro 7 is handling World of Warcraft like a champion. Now, I can imagine if you're in, like, Molten Core or other high-populated areas like AQ, you're probably going to get a little bit more of a graphics dive. Now, this is testing out WoW Classic, as I've always been a bigger fan of WoW Classic versus um, plain old regular WoW. I know that the new uh, Stormblood DLC, I believe, is coming out. I think that's the name of it. So, it's cool that World of Warcraft is still making expansions. I'm super happy about that. I'm glad that the game has been around for as many years as it has been. I believe 2004. So, that's like 16 years of World of Warcraft. And the game is still running strong. There's no World of Warcraft 2 in sight. They just keep updating the main game. And they follow the same roadmap that they've followed for years. And that is... Raise the game by five levels, make your gear obsolete by plus one level, and yeah, rinse and repeat. It kind of dulls down the experience of World of Warcraft. Like, I like the experience that Diablo has, where you get like alternate advancement levels, where you get various stats you can upgrade, and that actually rewards gameplay. So, it'd be nice to see them not mess with the level cap and kind of have alternate advancement, kind of like EverQuest used to do as well. To kind of promote grinding once you're max level. I know that there is a raid grind that you're supposed to go through when it comes to World of Warcraft. But in my honest opinion, I've never been a huge fan of the raid grind and all this other stuff. I know that Legion was a really good expansion. I didn't play the most recent one, Battle for Azeroth or whatever it was. But I heard Legion was a really good expansion because you could like challenge yourself in like higher difficulties... Of a various dungeon. I think that's really cool. I think that it's what a game needs to thrive and also pushes the limits of what you can handle. And obviously, it could make for better gear as you progress in the game. Definitely a welcome sight. All right, so we are in Orgrimmar now. And the reason I picked Orgrimmar is that you're going to be loading a lot of stuff into the game. And you can even see that FPS is nowhere near 60 right now because there's always people. And if you head to the auction house, I imagine it gets even worse. We're not going to die from this, are we? No, thank God. Yeah, so you can see that now in Orgrimmar we're getting about 40 FPS. And it's still playable. You obviously want 60 FPS for PvP. I imagine for regular gameplay, 30 FPS is fine. But yeah, now you can see as we're getting into the thicker side of... Uh, popularity FPS is going down because there's more things to actually load and you can see the FPS is at 26 so what would it take to actually get 60 FPS so let's put the camera back to 3 All right, so now we're maintaining 30 FPS with the graphics at 3 let's scale it down um, okay so there's 1066 by 600 there's uh, 1280 by 720 which is 67 percent and we're going to return the game. Yeah, it looks like the FPS is still around 30. Now it's picking up to about 40, 49. So yeah, definitely a little bit more frame rate. But as you're loading into this side, not much that can be helped. Very important to actually tell. Because this is going to be like raid FPS. So like when you're actually doing raids, this is the type of stuff that you need to watch out for. Especially when you're doing like 40 man groups. 
So let's actually tone it down to two. And let's see how everything goes from here. So as you can see, the further away you're getting from town, the better FPS you're getting. Now it's pushing up closer to 60, the less stuff that's actually loaded in thing. Even hit 74 for a second. And as we go deeper into town, and I think this is a good check for like what actually happened. You can see the frame rate dipping considerably with all the people that are in Orgrimmar. And you're still pushing about 30 FPS. So I think this is probably the optimal setting for the Surface Pro 7 when you're in towns. But outside of towns and when you're in a regular zone, you're definitely pushing well over 60 FPS. And yeah, even general gameplay outside of towns, you're probably able to go like graphic settings 4 at 1080p, and you're probably still going to get pretty close to 60 FPS. Yeah, so we're at like 48 right now, and the farther away we get from town, the better. It looks like at graphic setting 4, we're getting basically close to 60 FPS. Let's actually get into combat right now. Yeah, even 43 runs pretty well. I think anything over 30 FPS I think is acceptable for WoW, except for raids and PvP. You definitely want as close to 60 FPS that you can get in a regular world scenario. But even 50 FPS I think is respectable. So let's actually put the graphics all the way down to crap. All the way down to 1. And let's actually scale it. Back to the 720p. So that's at 1080p. Now this is like general use at like the crappiest graphics. And you can see it's basically locked at 60 FPS. No problem whatsoever. And it's even hovering above 60 FPS. So if you don't care about pretty shiny graphics, World of Warcraft will do just fine on the lowest settings. And let's do the town test at the lowest possible settings at 720p. Keep in mind the interface does still look really well. I don't think the interface is actually affected. I think it's just the graphics within the game. And it just goes to show you how well optimized World of Warcraft is for PCs. The fact that it's getting like 90 FPS at 720p with like the lowest graphics setting, even for a little tablet like this, is doing a great job. So now that we're actually getting into town, you can see the frame rate dipping again. So I think that it's a CP, like a CPU thing. It's got to load more stuff on screen. So even in like a busy town, with the graphics settings all the way down, you're getting one. So what are we going to get when we set the graphics up? Let's set it to like seven and see what type of FPS we get. And we're still getting about 18 to 20 FPS. Oh, yeah, 25. So... It's not great. I mean, it's not, like, unplayable. But it's definitely not a good experience. So there is definitely a difference with graphics. And let's actually try it at 1080p and see how much different the frame rates are. Yeah, we're barely hitting 20 FPS. That is with graphics 7 on a Surface Pro at 1080p. So if we go out of the area, we are pushing, like, 30 FPS. So I think that graphics setting 7 in, like, a low-populated area might be just fine or if you're not like on a pvp server you don't have to worry about other people it's acceptable not great and for curiosity's sake let's turn everything all the way up and see how bad the frame rates are so even all the way up now it is pushing the gpu a little bit more but you can see we're getting about 18 fps not really that great but again we're in a big town area and everything is turned all the way up Graphics actually look really good on the Surface Pro 7, which you can see connected right here, using a Apple adapter. And yeah, even in non-busy areas, you're getting close to 30 FPS, so it's pretty impressive. Now let's see if we could put it at a low scale. Let's try 640 by 360 with the graphics all the way down. It's probably going to look like garbage. But, alright, so it's at 60 FPS right now. Wow, those graphics are horrible. But, everything does load in just fine. This is probably going to be especially, no, now we're getting like 30 FPS. So yeah, it shows that it can't handle all the stuff on screen, even with the minimal settings. But, for regular like gameplay, like when you're actually fighting out in the wild, 
I'm pretty sure that the Surface Pro 7 is going to be just fine. The reason that I wanted to do the test like in towns and stuff is because I think that's a better uh, real world test where it's like a powerful GPU, powerful, well, this is run a 10th gen Intel processor, but a powerful GPU could easily handle everything on screen and not hiccup. So if we go on 10 at maximum resolution, you can kind of get a feel for how bad uh, everything runs. Yeah, it's like 20, not even 20 FPS. And there's a big graphical difference. But I wanted to do a little bit of a test like this. You can't get 60 FPS off this machine. But if you're running like the lowest settings, you can definitely pull 30 FPS with everything toned down in a busy area. So I think this will be great for raiding. Like if you're raiding on the go, say you're in a hotel, you can't take a laptop with you. You don't have anywhere to like use it in the car. Surface Pro 7, I think, will work just fine. You obviously need somewhere to put a mouse. That's probably what the back seat is for. And, like, a tray table of some kind or, like, a long table. But, yeah. To get even, like, 20 FPS at the highest settings in a town in a busy area, that's not bad. Let's uh, get out of our Ghost Wolf form and let's go Hearthstone and test out a little bit of combat at the highest setting. Now, this is not real world. You probably want to have it on classic settings just to get that classic WoW experience, but you can turn the graphics all the way up. Pretty zippy loading time, too, um, to switch zones, so that's pretty good. I used the Surface Go, as we even did a World of Warcraft test on the Surface Go. A company also reached out to me to test out a Surface Go keyboard, which I thought was really cool because it had Bluetooth support. So yeah, if you're playing maxed out, you're probably not going to have a good time at 20 FPS. Let's try and get into some combat. Um, so we can try to see some animations going about. And you can see the GPU is at 100% currently. So it's not uh, very optimized right now. Mostly because we're playing at a high resolution. So let's throw a lightning bolt. So yeah, the GPU is definitely taxed right now. Yeah, you definitely do not want to run this while you're uh, playing at max settings. Let's go scale it back down to classic at 3. So this is like old school WoW graphics. And now you can see we are hitting 60 FPS. So, yeah, and we're at 1080p. We have nothing scaled down. So you can definitely run World of Warcraft in a regular environment. You probably want to stay out of towns or lower the settings in towns. But for general combat, you can definitely do... 60 FPS in 1080p all day long. Again, the more graphical areas like Molten Core probably will struggle a little bit. You probably want to turn the graphics down there. But yeah, there's no reason that you can't play WoW at 60 FPS on a Surface Pro with classic graphics and enjoy the game. Everything is just running great. Let's set down some totems as well. Because that will actually put more stuff on screen. And yeah, you can see still hitting as close to 60 FPS as possible. Even with a bunch of total down. It's still getting like 50 to 55 FPS. So very respectable there. You're not going to have any problems with this. But yeah, if you're playing a class that has a bunch of totems down. A little bit of an FPS dip when we actually use that totem, but not that bad at all. So if you like this video showing off World of Warcraft on the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, running an i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, and also hooked up to an Elgato to show the uh, capturing process, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Surface Tech Review Test Videos playlist. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Shono's God. My third YouTube channel, which is Hollywood Shono Tech Reviews. And my second channel, Hollywood Shono YouTube Livestream. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!